Come on, Cedric. My trusty, cowardly companion. I'm trying to think of actually one useful thing that Cedric does in this game. I don't think there is one. Let's chat to the fortune teller guard. Now, now. The sullen man doesn't appear to be the conversational sort. It's a bit of a nasty thing to say about gypsies there, Cedric. No need for that, thank you. Right, let's give him the coin. You may see Madame Mushka now. Madame Mushka, eh? Warning. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. Do not worry, game. I shall watch it. So, you are here to see Marimushka, no? Yes. Well, come closer. Sit down. I will tell you your fortune. Already I can tell that you are on a quest of great urgency. We will see what we can find out for you. Look, Kingram. Look into the crystal ball. Look, Mananin. Look what I have for you. Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander. Because of you, he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat, and there's nothing I can do about it. But you can do something about it. Since you're the one that did this to him, you're the only one who can turn it She really needs to cut her nails. Alexander! I don't know how, Mordek. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across some magic spells and accidentally turned your brother into a cat. I didn't mean it. Please believe me, Mordek. I don't know how to turn him back into a wizard. You're holding out on me, little man. You're taking advantage of my good nature, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll feed your family to the cat. Starting with your dear mother. <laughs> That's Graham's Remember missus. Remember what I said. I'll only give you a little more time to decide before your family becomes cat food. That is all. But I see that your mission is very dangerous indeed. I will give you something to help you. Where is it? It is a magic amulet. It will protect you against all but the most powerful magic. Good luck, King Ram. Be careful. That Mordek is a bad one. Thank you, Madam Mushka. Thanks a lot, Madam Mushka, as King Graham said. Now it's important you equip that straight away. The magic amulet begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. He then carefully tucks the amulet into the front of his tunic, hiding it from sight. It's important that, folks. Because that amulet... Madam Mushka is tired. No more for today. I wasn't going to go and ask her for more. Idiot. Now, first thing we need to do before we continue on... Ah, here's the Weeping Willow. Let's have a chat to her. Uh, Miss Willow? Yes? You can talk? Why, of course I can. What did you expect? Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. What's wrong? Stole your heart? No. Whoa, that was glitched. Well, basically, that glitched out, folks, but what, sh what he should, or she should have said there, was that a witch has stolen her heart, I think. I'm sure that's what she should have said. And I'm far the gypsies haven't gone yet. We need to get them to move away. Because we need an item from here. 
bom 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 Why does why are the ants like still technically attacking us? I thought we were the friends now. Ooh, is that the new dance frame? The no. boogaloo! The boogaloo! Bum ba bum ba 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 da bum ba bum ba bum ba 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 bum. It's like two gnomes by the looks of it. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get it? It's grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I don't suppose it could be bought. If it could, the price would be very cheap. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. You're not a very nice gnome. But keep that marionette in your head. Because that is important later on. Now, come on, we need to get that blooming gypsy van to move. Bom, 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 bom. Hmm, I'll go back and forwards a few times to see if I can actually tweak them into going. Hmm, they haven't gone yet, well fair enough. What we'll do is... there just yet. We will do in the future though. That is an area that if you enter without knowing what you're doing, there's a good chance you will die instantly. Another one of those areas, Sierra. Well, that brings us back here. Didn't realise that. Right. Okay, well. What's south of here then? Oh, I remember. You've got to go talk to the prince. I'd forgotten that. That's the trigger to make the gypsies go, I think. Bom, 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 bom. Uh, excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. I was wondering if there was anything wrong. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, there is. I've been searching everywhere for my fiancé. She's a beautiful princess with long golden tresses, fetching blue eyes and smooth, creamy skin. Have you seen her anywhere about? He's just a little bit too creepy no, than he sorry, needs to be. I haven't seen anyone like that. That's what I figured. No one has seen her. I bet that a witch who lives in the dark forest had something to do with her disappearance. I'll keep an eye out for her. If I see her, I'll let her know you're looking for her. I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I'd better get back to looking for her. I'm not ever going to find her just sitting around here. That's the right That's attitude. Now, if you haven't guessed it, the Weeping Willow is his princess. And again, here we come to a part of the game where if you mess it up, you've only got one chance to do it. Now... Suddenly, 
frantic squeakings alert Graham to a mangy cat chasing a terrified rat. Now here you go, this is where the boot comes in handy. Headshot. You're welcome, Mrs. Rat. If you miss that, <laughs> you've got no idea how important that one little event is. If you would have missed that, then there's a part of the game where you would just be stuck and it would be a game over. That one little bit, and even though you can still move around and still do other bits and bobs, if you mess that bit up, game over. Right, anyway, continuing on. What other things do we actually need to do here? Now I think from now, I think, I think that or the actual finding the prints were the triggers for, I'm pretty sure were the triggers for making the gypsy camp move on. And if I'm right, it's a tambourine that we need from the gypsy camp. Bum 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 bum, bum bum bum. Bum bum bum, bum 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 bum. I know, strangely, the gypsy camp is still there. That is odd, because I thought, well, I was convinced it should have cleared out by now. Unless the graphic doesn't change, that could be, I suppose. No, they're still here, you see. That's really odd. The sullen man doesn't appear to be the conversational sort. Hmm, that is odd, that, folks, because I thought that should have cleared out by now. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. That's really odd. I'll just do one circle around again. So before I continue on, I do want to get the item from there, so now I've got everything. And I'll go back again. Oh, I think there's a strange thing you can do here as well. You can drink from this water. I think Graham gets a bit of a shock. What's wrong, Graham? That salt water. And that's because, folks, tears are salty. Why won't they move? Bear with me, folks. I'm going to have to wander around until they do. And welcome back, folks. Now, for some reason, I can't seem to get the gypsy... Gypsy? I can't even speak. Gypsy camp to vanish. I know you have to do that to get to the next part of the game, but no matter. Oh, no! Oh, I'm oh, no. going in there! Can't you read the sign? Come on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. What a surprise. Now, this is the forest. If you go here without having, firstly, the amulet, secondly, the honeycomb, and thirdly, the, the, the bottle from the temple, it's game over, basically. The first thing we've got to do is go to the witch's house. Because this is where she lives. The one who cursed that fair princess. Again, you come in here first, folks. Game over. Because you can get locked in. And it is, I think, pretty random when she does or doesn't show up. Here she is. 
To Graham's great relief, it appears that the witch's magic has been stopped by the amulet he is wearing. Just as Madame Mushka said it would. Pwned. She is creepy, man. Now what you've got to do, you have to use this on her. What the? Oh, freedom at last! Now you spend the next 500 years in a bottle. Pwned. And that's how you deal with a wicked witch. Good. That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. But now, how to get out of this dreadful forest? I'm sure we can manage it. Now you will notice as well that all these little eyes have started showing up. That's important. See, I will give her credit. That is a pretty darn cool looking house. Especially if she's got lava running around the outside as well. Okay. There's a few things we need from in here. A small, intricate spinning wheel is put away in the trunk. I know what to do with that. Reaching a hand into the trunk, Graham retrieves the small spinning wheel. What's this? Why, it's a little key. Now, what else is there? The winding steps are much too narrow for Graham to ever fit through. I thought there was something else in here. A small leather pouch is tucked away in the drawer. That's what we want. Graham reaches the drawer and removes the leather pouch. Boom. Everything we got is needed for these next few parts. Now we are very close to the end of this particular area. In fact, this is, well, I suppose we're coming up to about a third in, I would say. Uh, we need to go this way, I think, if possible. Now, I don't know if I've got to go... Can I go just directly west? There we go. Now, I think, actually, if you go there without the amulet... I don't think a magic actually kills you. I'm pretty sure it just turns you into a frog. Could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Now, if memory serves, it's the small key. Yep. Oh, look at that. I'm remembering it all, left, right, and center. Graham finds that the little key fits perfectly in this lock. Graham is charmed to find a little golden heart inside the door of the twisted old tree. And we shall take the golden heart. Reaching into the little door of the tree, Graham extracts the little golden heart. Also, if we look at this... Upon opening the leather pouch, Graham discovers three sparkling emeralds. And boom, we've got the emeralds. And now, believe it or not, folks, we're going to go capture an elf. Which is always fun. Now, I'm going to have to go around... Yeah, I'm going to have to go around the back, aren't I? At least the pathing worked, so that you could actually get around. That's impressive. Okay, Graham, now go all the way around... The yes, you've got it, you've got it. Can I, I think I can go straight across here. Now 
I'm going to save here because I'm never 100% sure on how to actually do this bit. Now, it's... I think... It's the honeycomb. I think. Graham squeezes the honeycomb as hard as he can, which causes the honey to drip out of it onto the ground, creating a sticky little puddle at his feet. Now all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax, which Graham puts back in his pocket. Now this is where it comes in, this is where the emeralds come in. Weird little things. And this should be the one. We caught you. Why should I do that? What will you do for me? I'll show you the way out of the forest, if you let me go. How do I know I can trust you? I give you my word. An elf never breaks his word. Well, it's against my better judgment, but okay. Move over, Rocky. You're in our way. <laughs> that is a weird looking creature. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> Duh. Sorry. 